going to be taking you to the future. Just by being here tonight, you're going to be part of something that will be talked about for centuries. <laughs> and I don't have my paper, so. <coughs> Modern energy. 132 years have passed since our current energy source was invented. And 132 years now, we're still boiling water. And with that, we're also healing our planet because of global warming. Let me ask you something. How many of you actually enjoy the fact that you have global warming? How about this? How many of you enjoy paying for electricity bills? How about gas? Now, what if I told you that with this system, there will be no need to pay, and not to mention global warming will be all but eradicated? Wireless infinite free energy. It's really simple, actually. You put a little bit of energy in from generators that will be spinning forever because of perpetual motion. It'll be sent to amplifiers or Tesla coils, which will amp it up a little bit. And then sent to a tower, which would power it in a 25 mile radius. And everything in that radius or range would be powered. And the sweet thing about that is, not only would you never have to use wires again, but Things like cars could be made electric and you wouldn't have to be paying for gas. And not to mention, there will be no need for pollution anymore because we wouldn't have fossil fuels anymore. Now, I'm pressed for time, so let's move on to step two. <laughs> lucid dreaming. Now, many people don't know what lucid dreaming is because it's not a popular topic sometimes. It's basically the awareness that you are dreaming and then the ability to control that dream. <coughs> and let me tell you, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do at first, because it's not mainstream, you know? <laughs> but there are many pros that come with doing it. One of my favorites, adventure and excitement. <laughs> Have you ever watched a movie or read a book, and you wonder, well, I wish I could, that could be real life. <laughs> well, in lucid dreaming, you could make it. You could, you could um, let's say you are the fantasy side, you can make your own adventures, basically. And the best part is, it's your own adventures, because it's your mind. Another pro, creativity and inspiration. Now, you, if some of you might have heard of the anomaly where a mathematician would not be able to solve a problem, he would go to sleep, and in the morning, he'll be able to solve it like that. Actually, a lot of famous people use this to um, come up with their best ideas. A few would be Albert Einstein, Pablo Picasso, and Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> they talked about him earlier. <laughs> I gotta say, I did not. That was just a coincidence. <laughs> now, another reason is lucid dreaming is a direct <coughs> line to the subconscious mind. What exactly is the subconscious mind? That's a question I get a lot. And let's make an analysis here. This is an iceberg, right? The top of the iceberg will be your conscious mind. The rest of that will be your subconscious mind. In my opinion, it's basically a supercomputer in your head. It processes all the information it gets and puts it into memory. And when you're not thinking about it, it controls itself about your body, like breathing. Now that I mention it, probably half of you started breathing your own. <laughs> but there's also the problem of learning how to complete the dream. And that's a complicated thing at first. The how is simple. It's two essentials. Dream recall, or the ability to remember your dreams, and checking if you're in reality. The first one is a simple exercise you can do. It's just writing down your dreams whenever you have them. It's really simple, and all you, that's all you got to do, and it really helps. Because 
When you do that, every time you do it, your brain gets trained to remember your dream. Each time, and each time you remember your dream, you get better. It's like any other skill. You just gotta keep practicing it. Now, the more famous of the two, reality checks. And as you can see, and as you can see, that fellow right there is probably in the dream because he can stick his finger through a rock. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> a reality check is just that. A check to see if you're in the real world. And my favorite would probably have to be where you plug your nose and you try to see if you can bring it to him. As you can see, I'm not in a dream, but I'm here talking to you guys. <laughs> so, it didn't work. But if I were to still be able to breathe to it, and that means it would have failed, that means I would have been in a lucid dream, or in a dream, and I could have become lucid from that. This is step three. Now the other two, those are ideas that are already conceived. Those are <coughs> this one, this one's the punch to the world, to the say. I call it the other world. It is basically, well, how is this? Have any of you watched Inception before? Mm -hmm. For those of you who haven't, it's, about, it's a movie about a thief that tries to implant an idea in a man's head using dreams. And he has his own team in yeah. But if you think about it, isn't it a bit weird how they did it? Because if you watch closely, they didn't use the machine to get the dream. They actually just got it. All they did was use um, the, I don't forget the name. But they used the sleepy things. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I, I did some research, and there's a technique called shared dreaming they did, where one, or the definition of it is when one or two or more people can interact in a dream together. And this got me thinking, why can't we just make this in the real world? I mean, something like that would be very cool, you know, to be able to hang out with friends in a dream, fly around a little bit. <laughs> so, I did some more research and looked for a device that would make this possible. And I came up with this. The Emotive Insight. It's basically a wireless headset that allows you, that Convert your brain waves into a language that the computer can understand. As you can see here, this fellow is controlling this game with his mind, only his mind. He uses his, his the brain waves that are being re recorded are being translated to something the computer can understand, and he's able to lift those rocks in the game. But this is also something else. How? I mean, even with the headset, it'll still be complicated. So I had to come up with a system in which people would work. So let's use our imagination here. Let's imagine Chief Rings headset, not Beats or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and the information from her head, which will, she will be dreaming, will be sent to her computer. And then there will be, have to be an app developed to which it can be sent to what I like to call a dream hub. Not like the other hub, but dream hub. And the signal from other dreamers would be sent down and they'll all be congregated in one spot where they're going to get a base dream. <laughs> this isn't the natural way, but it's the most stable way for everyone that maybe they're not really good at wizardry. It'll be the best way for everyone to be able to do it. And, all the, and with the wireless energy set up, it'll be able to connect each dream up to each other, making one they lucid dream. Now, you may be asking, what would it look like? <laughs> I probably won't, it won't look like that, but it will look something. If the best analogy I can make is the net, the matrix. Only thing, we wouldn't be trying to be killed by robots and we wouldn't have to stick giant needles in our necks. That would be painful. But I also want to read one thing about this new world before I summarize everything else. 
instead of going to sleep and not having anything to do, people would go and have fun all night with their friends and do things together they would never get to do in real life, like flying to Mars or maybe just hanging out, you know. This would be a place where people could go to talk to loved ones who are far away. No one would be more special than the other because they would all be equal. This would be a place where everyone could know the same language and talk to people from other countries to get to know them. This would be a place where there would be no wars. A place where the smartest scientists could sit down and put their heads together and, serve and solve the world's problems by simply asking for the answers from the top of the mind. So, to summarize, we start off with wireless energy. We hit up lucid dreaming and we enter utopia, or as I like to call it, the other world. Thank you.